And just a clarification about what we said yesterday. Some people misunderstood from the halakha yesterday that the seudah shniya, the second seudah of Shabbat, doesn't need to be done with bread. And that's not necessarily the case. We hold the halakha, the Rambam and Maran Shulchan Aruch hold that the second meal, just like the first, must be done with bread. Otherwise, you're not Yotzei the Chovah. Just with regards to having forgotten the Tzavach Litzenu from the second Shabbat meal, if you ate pastries before the second meal, since there are Rishonim that say that you are Yotzei without, you don't have to repeat Birkat HaMazon. Those were the words of the Chazon of Adiyah yesterday. So not to be confused, not to say that you're, you are Yotzei. Of course not. Some people misunderstood. If I have Kiddush with, uh, with pastries on Shabbat morning, I already I don't have to have another Seuda. And then the, the other Seuda that I can have is Seuda Shlishit, and that's it. That's not, that's not necessarily the way it works. Also, um, I was asked about eating cakes on Shabbat morning. So the halacha is very clear that just like any other morning of the year, you're not allowed to eat before the tefillah. That has nothing to do with Shabbat. That has to do with uh, any other day of the year as well. That it's considered ga'ava to be eating before tefillah. There's a gemara, Masechet Berachot Dafyod, Ve'oti Yishlachta Achare Gevecha, Antikre Gevecha, Ela Ge'echa. That is when a person eats and drinks before tefillah, it's a sign, it's, it's not a sign of humility before HaKadosh Baruch Hu. You're supposed to, first thing you're supposed to do is pray. The exception to that is if a person's ill or old, a person's weak and he needs koach, he's mamash, not well. Not only that, the poskim said that if a person cannot concentrate at all on his tefillah without having something, a bite to eat first, then it's mutar to have something because that's also considered a chole in that regard. So let's say a person's a chole or zakin on Shabbat morning and wants to eat before. So just like any other day, you're allowed to have a little cake or a little fruit, whatever you need in order to get your strength and go pray. But in that situation, Agon Yelkut Yosef writes that a person should preferably make kiddush before the tefillah, make kiddush, have a little grape juice or wine, have a little cake to be kovea seuda, and then after the tefillah, after shacharit musaf, to make kiddush again uh, so that you can be yotze all of the deot because really the chovat kiddush only kicks in after the tefillah for men. So Bezat Hashem will continue with this in the following days. Have a wonderful day.